What's going on, YouTube? Good morning if you're on my side of the globe. Good evening if you on the other side. I'm starting a little earlier than usual because where I'm staying at, uh, breakfast is included. Uh, don't be surprised if y'all hear my phone ring in about the next hour that they do that in every room. To let you know that it's only one hour left before breakfast is over because it ends at 10 30 because it's going on 8 30 in the morning here and i think if i was still in cincinnati it'd be going on 8 30 now so we're talking 12 hour difference i know it changed from like 
11 or either 13 hour difference when I was in Thailand. So, and I'll be back in Thailand in about mm, 11, 12 days, give or take. Please hit that like button on your way in. We got 19 watching so far. Tiger 9511, my member, what's going on, bro? Make sure y'all subscribe to the Travel Vlog channel. Like, I got a lot of vlogging to um, put up for you guys. I'm like, I recently just started um, posting my time in Chiang Rai. I'll be honest with you, I really didn't do a whole lot of vlogging in Phuket. Um, and so far due to weather and me trying to catch up on vlogging, I haven't done a whole lot since I got here, but like I said, man, I still got more days left and plus, uh, be honest with you guys, I'm trying to get, uh, shorty to come out here too, so. Think that'll make the that'll make the content out here a little bit more enjoyable. Cause don't get me wrong, though, it's plenty of attractive women here, but this is definitely the kind of place you would prefer to bring sand to the beach as opposed to uh, looking for it. But I will say this, bro. Richie Mac did not lie, bro. It is some Indonesian women down here. With cake, like I, I want to know where the hell it comes from. I, I really do. Like, not to say that you can't find it in Thailand or the Philippines, but I've seen some women. I've seen some Indonesian or Balinese women, should I say? Man. They got some of that. Hold on. Shout out to Love, Purpose, and Passports. They got some of that African DNA. <laughs> that African DNA. I'm weak as hell. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to Mr. Pro for you, bro. That's the homie, man. Make sure y'all check out the uh, Spread Shot merch. Also, please subscribe to the music channel if you support the music, all the music that you hear in the background. When I'm speaking in my uploads, that is me. And if you want access to it, that is where you go. I got actually got another one dropping in about a week. So be on the lookout for that. And follow me on social media on TikTok and Instagram as well. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm like, I know I've been slacking, but I really am going to start posting on TikTok again because... I just be I, I come across so much BS on TikTok, and I'm like, I'll be wanting to chime in on man. It it is some y'all, bro. It is some real live cucks and simps out there that are defending BS, bro. It, it, it's it's so weird, bro. We got men out. We got men out here defending OnlyFans models, bro. Like, li these girls are literally getting a cheap, bro. I came across a video of that one chick who used to be a lawyer, and then now she get her cleat, her cheeks clapped on OnlyFans, <laughs> bro. And I had made a comment, and bro, come. I was shocked. It wasn't women that were defending her it was men i'm like bro y'all are weird bro so weird i'm like you defending that like as if as, and then go have a nerve to say this girl out of my league thinking to myself like don't get me wrong shorty bad but it's like bro i wouldn't take her seriously any i wouldn't take her seriously regardless like dude that's why I really don't understand why them girls go on these podcasts anyway. <sighs> anyway. Man. That's the cash app tag. Uh, 
all donations are welcome are uh, much appreciated super chats as well thank you for the fair use alice i probably need you to drop it later drop it again later should i say rose shout out to my member rose what's going on jermaine money mitch Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Yeah, you guys, I'm in Bali. Yeah, I'm in Bali now. Yeah, I've been in Bali for a few days. Yeah, I think it's time. Yeah, I think it's time to be a little bit more um, engaged and active on TikTok. I'm I'm gonna try to make an effort to do that. Yeah, um, one of my moderators left the uh, link to my music channel at the top of the chat. It's called AMU Music. And when people say to beat at the end of my, I'm like, because it's like, I got, I got to think I'm playing. Well, I'm playing two different ones, but one of them hasn't came out yet. But if you're talking about the one at the very, very, very end where I'm promoting the music channel, then yeah. The name of that track is called Marcella. It's off of the, for the love of volume two. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Well, that, that's the, um, link to it um hold it hold it down podcast uh <laughs> yeah uh so the inspiration behind all the names of the beats for that mixtape are pretty much just the names of all the uh well not all of them but some of the women that i've dated since i started traveling overseas so i don't know I guess depending on how how many I can rack up, I can keep that theme up. But I don't know. I don't think it'll be for long, man. I'm like I'm 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 trying to lock in with somebody for real, for real. I know a lot of um people are, you know, happy for me when it comes to the woman that I've been kicking it with lately. But so like you just never know. You know what I mean? Plus uh troy's got issues i don't know if y'all remember him uh he you guys know he's in costa rica and he got kind of got like a dating service kind of thing going on my god bro it's this woman named juliana jesus christ that woman is beautiful bro little tiny little thing too man but Got the big pouty lips that I got and got a little something fat back there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I had a feeling you was talking about that one, man, because I, I get confused as which one guys are talking about. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not put that track out yet. You're not going to hear that track. You're probably not going to hear that track months from now. I just used that track because if it, it felt like it matched the video, you know what I mean? And this is something that I've picked up from Richie Mack. Shout out to Richie Mack, bro. When he edits his videos, he tries to pick tracks that fit the vibe of what he's watching. And when and when I made that clip, I just chose I just chose that beat at the moment cuz I was like, "Damn, that beat just feels like it fits." But yeah, that beat go hard. I ain't gonna hold you. That beat go hard. That that go hard, bro. Yeah, man, my bad, bro. Yeah, that that ain't out yet. That ain't gonna be out till probably a few months from now. That's gonna be a part of the uh 
passport music uh series that i'm gonna start here in the summer so i got like because i got neo i got neo rock coming out on the 20th then i got neo drill coming out next month and then in june i got a i got a mixtape dedicated to my dad which i'm probably gonna be doing every year going forward because his birthday is june 14th and then July on to the rest of the year is somewhere between somewhere between July and the rest of the year you you you'll hear that beat again. Yeah, man, like bruh. Like the whole the whole the whole situation is just ugly. And it, it and and to be honest with you, man, she kind of indirectly exposed the women back home. And I'm going to go over that. In a, and I'm going to go over that here in a little bit. Artistic Entertainment, what's going on, G? No end to tech and tips. What's going on, bro? Lightning Tiger, you're. <laughs> What up, Dino? Uh, it's the uh, it's the same one. i like that. That's actually the video that I'm gonna be reacting to. But I might throw in, uh, but BMT covered it too, and I might. I want to go over the parts he went over too, but because of YouTube guidelines, I probably stay away from it because if. I show you the parts that he has, uh, cause I wouldn't be surprised if he got put in the yellow as well. Cause suppose, cause O'Shea didn't show it, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. Cause he wanted to make sure it could be monetized. So, but yeah, man, now nah, it's it's not another one. It's the same one. I mean, but I didn't hear till recently that she got deported. Cause I know she had got in trouble and shit for it, but. <laughs> right, right, right. But I know, I know, I know that one Thai woman that was um, sitting next to that black lady when Richie Mack was interviewing her. I know she was like, "Like, why am I seeing so much more black people here?" Like, I'm like, "Well, the black women are just following us and spying on us, or they're coming with their husbands, and they over there." wishing they would have made a different choice like that black woman's brother that was getting interviewed by Richie Mack because he just had a look on his face like he wanted out. But yeah, man, we'll see. We got 46 watching. Please hit that like button. Oh, hold it down, podcast. You said you got a hook for that. Yeah, that's that's one of my favorite beats that I've made recently, bro. Uh, you know, cause I, I'm, I'm like I, I did a little bit of investing um, into the music as well. So I want to say pretty much from here on out, I'm like you're definitely gonna hear. Uh, I think you're, de in my opinion, I think you're gonna hear better quality music going forward. All right, so let's see. You see here, we are, all right. Go ahead and get set up for you guys. Set up the screen real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Make sure, all right. Looks like everybody can see the screen. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Not old simp Duke Jackson. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not the biggest O'Shea Duke Jackson fan myself. I'm like, and, and, and I'm subscribed to him. But I'm really only subscribed to him just so that way I can, like, stay up on the latest topics and stuff. 
I'm like, I really don't watch him like that, to be honest with you. But one of my subscribers sent me this, and I was like, he said, bro, you got to cover this. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm covering this for sure. All right, you guys. So we got 43 watching, man. Uh, Please hit that like button, you guys. Um, if you're talking about the one that I'm with, uh, so far, so good. Um, I'm enjoying the treatment. I'm enjoying the attention. However, when I need to work on my channel, as y'all saw when I was in Chiang Rai, I'm like, she was right over here chilling, being quiet while I, while I did what I did. You know what I mean? She ain't interrupt me, nothing. She washed my clothes without me asking when we was in Chiang Mai. But, yeah, man. And she got that grip. If you know, you know what I mean when I say she got that grip. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm like, I've I've low key wanted her for a little minute, man. Like she's so tiny, but she got a little shape on her, bro. It's weird. It's like she don't got a. You ever seen one of them girls that don't got a fat ass, but she still kind of got like a shape. It's hard to describe, man. I'm like, and she just, I'm like, and she's just cute and tiny, man. I'm like, yeah, man, she cool. I'm like, she's super cool, bro. Yeah, I'm like, Dean, I'm like, I'm gonna take my time. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time, Dino. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I know some guys probably wouldn't approve of her because. You know, she got some tattoos. Yeah, she got a boob job. But, dude, like, she is, like, she's pretty damn traditional, man, outside of that. I'm like, because if you look at my travel vlog channel, bro, all she wants to do is go to temples. Like, she is a temple girl. When she went back, when she went back to, um, cause her, uh, cause her people stay in Bangkok. When she went back to Bangkok, one of the first places she went was another temple. I'm over here like, all you do is go to temples, bro. Somewhat, somewhat, except she got a boob job. Well, I know this much, bro. He really does not like fresh and fit. He does not like fresh and fit. He does not like pearly things. Um, But y'all got to understand, man. O'Shea Duke Jackson is like a goofy version of um, Umar Johnson. Because he's super pro-black. Pan African, like that. That's O'Shea, bro. That's why I'm like he's like a goofy version of Umar. Bro, I'm like he he's just like that. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'll be going in in a <laughs> Yo, y'all savage as hell. Why'd you go? 
Yo, man, y'all y'all get started too early, bro. Um, did he say he look like? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, you started early, Jacoby. Oh my God, man. Man, Jacoby, bro, I'm pretty sure you got something you um want me to do a live reaction to, man. Hit, hit my email up. Like otherwise, for real, for real, tomorrow I might just end up chopping it up on here tomorrow, man. For real, for real. I'm like, I really haven't came across anything I really want to sink my teeth into, but I don't know. I do need to do some more panel shows, man. I got I got some of those in the works coming up for y'all as well. Uh, let me catch up, man, before I get started. Oh my God, Jacoby Ray, you funny for that one. Damn, I'm weak as hell. <laughs> Will I have a checkout? What do you mean? Will I have a checkout? I don't understand, uh, SC. What you mean by that? Yo, <laughs> oh my god, bro! This is why I love my chat, bro. Cause y'all remind me of the guys I grew up with, bro. We used to just have roast sessions all the time, like, like just for fun. Like, ain't nobody like, oh nah, we about to fight. Like, oh my god. Oh yeah, I went to Chang Rai. Um, I recently just uploaded one of my um one of, like my first video when I got the Shang Rai. Uh it's probably not gonna I don't think it's gonna premiere till Monday though, because I still got my last video in Chiang Mai that's about to premiere here in a little bit. But yeah. Yeah, Chiang Rai was actually like as far as Thailand goes on my bucket list because I wanted to go see the White Temple. We went, to, we went to go see the White Temple, the Blue Temple, and there's this place called Lolita Cafe. I don't know if any of you guys watch World of Ani, um, another travel vlogger, but he's the reason why I wanted to go to Lolita Cafe because they got, when you walk in, there's like restaurants on both sides, right? But it costs you 60 baht to get in, which it ain't shit but $2. But if you end up eating at one of those restaurants, you get your six. They take uh, whatever you, whatever your bill is. They give you the sixty. Di uh, they give you the sixty. Sixty baht as a discount. So like, if you go to the run of the restaurants in there and you spend three hundred baht on a meal, then it's only going to be two forty. You know, but just to go in there and just see the garden and see the waterfalls and. It's it's worth the two. It's worth the sixty bot, bro. Two dollars ain't nothing, you guys. I'm like, yeah, but it's a beautiful sight to see. And then it's right by the big Buddha temple. Mm -hmm. So we saw those three temples, and we went there. We did all that in one day. Yeah, Chang. I mean, Chang Rai is dope for the sites, but that's not somewhere I would want to stay long term. If there, if guys want to stay in North Thailand, I would highly recommend Chiang Mai over Chiang Rai, without a doubt. It's bigger, a lot of foreigners there, man, and, and it's just, it's just a vibe, bro. Like Chiang Rai, based on my short experience there, I mean, excuse me, Chiang Mai. I would say it's like a miniature, like a miniature Bangkok, if that makes any sense. It's like it's not as big. It's just not tour. It's just not real tourist. It's it's hard to describe, man. I just I know Chiang Mai. I think fits me. I will argue Chiang Mai probably fits me a little bit more than Bangkok or Pattaya. But I love Pattaya because I'm right by the beach. 
So to be honest with you, because I know it, I do, I was just watching another YouTuber that's doing this because he got a place in Pattaya and he recently got a place in Bangkok too. So he has an apartment in both cities. In the future, I might consider doing the same thing once I move to Thailand permanently. Maybe get a place in Pattaya and then get another place in Chiang Mai. And whenever it's real, because I went at a bad time of the year because they, um, it's fire, uh, it's burn cropping season up there in the north. So, what I would do. When it's not fire cropping season and it's a lot cooler, I will stay up north. And then that time of the year when it is fire cropping season, I will probably stay in a Pattaya. That's 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 an idea of what I want to do. But I don't know. I might just end up staying in one spot. But I really like Chiang Mai, bro. Like low key, I know Shorty was with me, but man, like. I low key kind of wish I went to Chiang Mai by myself, bro. A lot of attractive foreign women out there, bro. And, and, and they checking for brothers too, because there ain't a whole lot of brothers up there. You'll find way more brothers in Pattaya, uh, even Phuket or Bangkok before Chiang Mai, man. Oh yeah, Jacoby, that was accurate, bro. That's why I was weak. Uh y'all, y'all goofy, bro. Look, they going. Look, y'all done got y'all done got the chat started. Man, this is Billy Duke. I'm mad, bro. Oh, I bet he does. I bet he does. Said in the nineties, right? Facts. Facts, bro. Now, I will say this. The ones that I've seen him work with, I ain't really been too crazy about. But some of the ones that's on that dating show that he got... I ain't gonna hold you. Some of them, <laughs> some of them was bad, bro. You know what? That's true, bro. As much as I'm like, as much as he talks down on everybody else in this space, I'm like, bro, we haven't spotted you with a female once. Now, if you keeping it private, you keeping it private, but you don't even mention whether or not you got a girl. Like, so it's like. Yeah. You know what? I low key think that too, Dino, to be honest with you. Because <clears throat> one of my best friends invited me to this group on Facebook called Black Love. I swear it ain't nothing but bitter. Um, ain't nothing in there. seemed to be nothing in there but bitter older women that are past the wall. Um, black women specifically, obviously, because the name of his black love, but but I think he invited me um, because there's potential content to react to in that group. <clears throat> we got a super chat here. Luther King K with the four ninety nine super chat says, "Keep it up, little big bro." I'm done. PHP. I can't wait. Jerome El Guapo Zoom. Average man unplug gives me hope and a path. Oh, okay. So you want to go to the Philippines. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. To be honest with you, after what I after what I witnessed in Cebu, I would probably recommend brothers to uh, if you're trying to stay there long term, I would probably recommend Cebu over Manila, to be honest with you. Like it, it, it's some it, it's brothers down there building building um a network. And a community down there. <clears throat> I'm like, and, and it's by the and it's by the beach, <clears throat> you know, and and other stuff as well. And if you're not a big city person, you're not gonna like Manila. 
I mean, I like Manila for what it is, but I'm not a big city person, so. Say it's your boy. Oh, thank you for that super chat, man. By the way, I apologize, man. Got to show it again. Right? Oh, yeah. Say what's up? What's good, everybody? It's your boy. Back at it again. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like that part of the introduction. Back at it again. <laughs> oh man. Man, shout out to Ed when time is saying, yeah, bro. Th- Thailand is it for me, y'all. I'm still going to travel, but expect me to spend a lot of time in Thailand going forward. Because I'm like, after my time here in Bali, I'm going back to Thailand, and I'm actually considering extending my stay. However, I did get the news recently that they postponed the visa in Brazil till next year. Whoa. Ugh, I'm like, and damn, I don't know if he want me to say this or not. I don't want to throw his business out there like that. But y'all will probably find out any eventually anyway, because I'm pretty sure he'll have it on his channel. But um passport blueprint. I'm like, if you are watching, I'm not ever seeing you in the chat. I think he's supposed to be in Brazil in June. So let's see how things go. I might, I might, I might, I might mess around and make that move. Come like, cause I would love to link up with him. Hanada Lopez. Oh my God. Man. Um, the Brazilian women period, but, uh, at the end, you know, Skylar and a couple other brothers that are down there. I'm like, I think that's going to be, I don't know. It, it's just such a toss up, man, because I want to see Eastern Europe too. So it's tough, man. It's tough. It is really tough, man. 195 countries, bro. It's tough to make decision where you want to go. Hold on. Wait a second. So you mean to tell me Nack Measy is friends with O'Shea and he's super pro-black? I'm like, is that why he hate Passport Bro so much? That... Yo... Man, Yoga Yoga, be his ass, bro. I'm telling you, bro, because that don't make any sense to me, bro. Yeah, see. This is what really, see, when I hear comments like that, this is what really pisses me off about some of these content creators man it's like y'all get a y'all get a little success on youtube bro and y'all feel like y'all can just talk down to y'all audience like that bro let me tell y'all something man i don't give a damn if i was even able to get to a million subs bro i'm never gonna talk down on y'all like that Will I call people out and hold them accountable? Sure, but I'm not going to be over here like attacking y'all, saying y'all dusty, or like another content creator said that I recently heard about calling y'all incels. Like, I'm not going to say shit like that. That's disrespectful, bro. But if you're being disrespectful in the chatter in the comments, oh, yeah. That, that's a completely different thing. But even if you were being disrespectful in the chat or in the comments, I'm still not going to say shit like that. I'm, bruh, I'm I'm so sick of hearing, 
I'm so sick of hearing these other YouTube content creators that got a bigger audience than me talking to their audience like this, man. Because I'm like, how in the hell, bro, you wouldn't be where you at if it wasn't for your audience, bro. Like, quit talking to your people like that. That shit pisses me, like, dead ass, bro. That really pisses me the fuck off, bro. Excuse my French, man. I'm like, I can do a whole live show about that. Hold on. <laughs> Please tell me. Oh my God. You mean to tell me, oh, bruh, as much as they love black men in Germany, from what I'm hearing, and every black man seems to have a positive experience when they go there. You mean to tell me O'Shea couldn't get, he couldn't get, <sighs> okay. Now I know something ain't right. Something ain't right. Oh, Dumaghetti. Oh, yeah. You know what they say about Dumaghetti, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Dumaghetti, man, you know, they, 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 they say that's where, um, I'm like, I'm like the women snatch you, the women snatch you up and do Maggetti. I'm like, that's what I was considering going there when I went back. I'm like, cause I'm like, I will, I'm like, I will definitely go to the Philippines again, man. I'm like, it, it's just, it's just too beautiful of a country not to go. Um, I'm like, cause I'm to be honest with you guys, I still want to go to Palawan. I wouldn't mind going to Barakai again. I, I miss Barakai, bro. Like I just miss. I'm like I just love going island hopping. You know what I mean? Seeing that beautiful blue water with the white sands and all the white beaches and islands everywhere. Yes, man. Yes. Not pro wax though. Don, the coach with the ten dollars super chat says, "Just wants to show some love. Keep grinding. I'm trying to be like you on these YouTube streets, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much for that super chat, my guy." <laughs> yeah, Luther King K. Manila is like the New York of the Philippines, man. Like. Like Manila, big as hell. I'm like, yeah, it, it, I mean, it ain't my speed, man. If I was gonna, if if I was gonna live in the Philippines long term, it would be Cebu, without question. Just based on the network, you know, I'm like the brothers that I met down there, and they networking and building. A, you know, what I'm saying like, especially where I was staying at, because where I was staying at, you know, it's like a five minute walk from the beach. Everything is in within walking distance. Like I really didn't even have to leave that area too much. You know what? You know what, Chris? That's actually a good idea. Because you know I'm a foodie anyway. You know, I'm like, I try to, I'm like, I try to reference, you know, whenever I do vlog and I be, um, you know, going to places to eat, I'm like, I usually try to let guys know like how much things cost and whether I liked it or not and mm -hmm. things of that nature. Um, um, trying to, I'm like, I'm like, when it comes to the vlogging content, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, man, I, I'm a, for real. That might be that might be my live show for tomorrow because I've been thinking about doing that for a while, man. You know what I'm saying? I might. I know Richie Mac back in the state, so I might not be able to get him to come on last minute. But I'm gonna let him know, bro. I'm, I'm gonna just do a live show about it tomorrow. Like, bro, you you undersold. You really undersold Thailand, bro. You undersold it.
Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys because I think Brazil have some of the most beautiful women in the world. It would not shock me, bro. Brazil, going to Brazil could put a wrench in my plans, man. But speaking of Brazil, because I think I kind of went off course, I think Passport Blueprint said he was going to go in June, if I remember so correctly. So if when I go back to Thailand after from here, I can either extend my stay and then go straight to Brazil or just spend a month in Thailand and go to Costa Rica and do the date thing with um, uh, your boy, his little dating service over there. I might do that. And then from Costa Rica, go to Brazil and then link up with um, Passport Blueprint and everybody else. So that's that's a potential plan because my original plan was to come back to thailand extend my stay and then start roaming eastern europe or maybe go to another asian country like cambodia or something like that but yeah and then i got the germany meetup in um sept uh, september as well oh man well well welcome to the um show kid appreciate you Yeah, I kind of figured that. To be honest with you, I think that's the only reason why he was cool bringing Austin Holloman on, on his show. I agree. I agree. That's basically all it is in a nutshell. Because you want to know what I find interesting about Brothers who talk down on other brothers dating out they they don't they don't have that same energy to the degree when it comes to black women dating out like they might call it out but they don't harp on it like they do black men dating out and i think the reason why is because black men can date out at a higher rate than black women i think that's why Yeah, he in Uganda. Uh, I don't know, man. All I know is I want to see Yoga Yoga knock his ass out. And I can tell you right now, bro, if if Nak Measy can't take a kick, he in for a long fight. I'm like, cause he he was showing me kid. Yeah, yeah, y'all y'all saw the vlog, man. If you watch my um, he was kicking the shit out that bag. I'm over here like, oh yeah, I ain't trying to take any of them kicks, bro. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, the internet is undefeated. Have y'all been seeing the memes that they've been put, putting up of OJ Simpson since he passed away? And then Caitlyn Jenner had the nerve to say, "Good riddance." Like good riddance, it was like, hold on. You I'm like, I'm like, didn't you unalive somebody and got away with it? And then turn around and receive the woman of the year award the same year. Like, if you don't shut your I don't know what the hell I am ass up. Like the nerve, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. For real, bro. You feel me? It's like I know. Hey, come on, bro. I wouldn't be where I'm at. Well, I wouldn't be where I'm at now if it wasn't for y'all. Like last thing I'm gonna do is sit over here, man. Man, y'all some incels or y'all, y'all this and y'all. Come on, bro. That I'm like that. That's like biting the hand that feeds you, bro. That's stupid. 
But I guess they figure they can get away with that because their audiences are so much bigger than mine. I'm like, like I said, bro, I, my, I can have a bigger audience than them and I wouldn't talk to y'all that way, bro. Yeah, Dino, bro, you, man, you, anybody who met me in real life, like you could talk, you can tell. I'm like, bro, I'm the same person, bro. I'm the same person, bro. So I'm like, since I started traveling, I'm, I've met quite a few people that watch my channel. I'm like, I've met, I've met more people who watch my channel overseas than I have in the states. But in Cincinnati, I'm like, I I've had about, I want to say maybe about three or four people stop me now. Like it is so. I, I'm still not gonna get used to it. Is, but yeah, man, it's dope. It's dope. Mister G, rap. What's going on, bro? Man, I'm over here trying to catch up with the chat, you guys. We're gonna get into this video here in a minute because I ain't gonna be able to be on here too long because I gotta take advantage of this free breakfast downstairs. Y'all probably going to hear the phone ring in about 20 minutes. Just ignore it. That's just them letting me know that the breakfast is only an hour left for breakfast. I'm like, and they got some damn good coffee. They 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 cook eggs and pancakes for you um, by request, along with all the other options and shit. They got fruit and shit. It's nice. Blue Exodus, the member, man. What's going on, brother? I see you. See who else we got in here. Nah, I'm mad, bro. <laughs> yo, I gotta admit, yo, I yo, I think Destiny might be on his red pill arc, bro. Cause the way he came to bat for um fresh and fit was uh well fresh was crazy. Cause all all old girls seem to care about. Is getting child support. She come off because he was like, "Well, hold on, man. Like, you don't want him to be in the kid's life." And this chick had the nerve to say, "Why would you care about that?" My response is, my response would have been like, "Why don't you care about it?" Because it seems like you don't. It seems like all you care about is how much money you can get out of them. Oh uh, yeah, we yeah we 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 gonna get into it. We gonna get into it. Yeah, that too. I think that's another reason why I'm not a big fan of Manila. I will give you that, but don't don't sleep on Chiang Mai, bro. See it, I'm telling you. Don't sleep on Chiang Mai. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than Bangkok, but man, when you're talking about foreign women from other countries, oh my god, I, bro, it was so bad that I wish I didn't go there with with another with another woman. You know what I mean? Because I was, I, I mean, I was there with somebody, but, <sighs> bro. Okay, you know what, Koi Chang? I think I've heard of that. I think I've heard of that. It sounds familiar. I agree with you, you know. I'm the same way. I don't really see color when it comes to I'm like, oh period, bro. Megatron with the two dollar super chat says pro black equals pro Keisha. Hi, I'm mad. I'm mad. Thank you for the super chat, brother. <laughs> and one of the um, and I know this is probably gonna sound low key corny, and y'all probably heard it before, but the reason why I don't see any color when it comes to love, because at the end of the day, bro. Bro, we 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 all bleed. We all bleed the same. We all 
Like, we all bleed the same color. You know what I mean? We got to put our pants on. We got to put on pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else, bro. Like, man. Uh, like, it's just ridiculous to me. Dan Brown with the $2 super that says, keep doing your thing, broski. Hashtag peace. Yeah, Bruce Jenner need to get canceled after saying that shit. You got some nerve, bro. It's a, bro, I just posted a shit, bro. It's a white chick somewhere at a, I think it's Indiana University. This woman had the nerve to say, if you're black, you're not country. She and her feelings about Beyonce's country album. If you're black, you're not country. Like. Yeah, your um ancestors weren't um doing the planting, they were doing the picking. I was like, oh, that bitch got some nerve. Talking about some, I don't care, I don't care. I'm like, little do she know. I'm like, and I actually found this out recently. I'm like, country, I'm like, supposedly country music was started by black black people. So I'm like. Uh, I don't know, Miss Lady, you might want to learn your history a little bit. Oh, damn, y'all going crazy in the chat, man. Proto J4789 with the final who was that says, watching this from Bangkok, finally made it out here, dog. You know where I can find a barber. Well, you know, I shave my own head, brother. Um, uh, so be honest with you, I, Bangkok, I, I was going to say it now. See? That's them left. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it, y'all, but that's them letting me know about the breakfast downstairs. They they do that every morning. Um, But uh, I was going to say, now, if you was in Pattaya, I would have definitely recommended you to go to Sonny's. Um, but Bangkok, I'm not sure. Uh. Damn, I'm trying to think. Yo, Proto J4789, go on Facebook and look up a, a group called Voy, Voyatic, V O Y Y A T I C, or one of the travel groups on Facebook. You know what I mean? And see if any of those brothers know. That would be my suggestion. Cause whenever I do go to Bangkok, I don't, I don't, I don't hang around there for too long. I usually don't spend more than four or five nights in Bangkok. To be honest with you. Uh, but thank you for that super chat, brother. Much appreciated. <laughs> okay, shit, chill. We'll already name one down there. Baltimore barber shop in Bangkok. Okay. D. Smith, what's going on, bro? Exactly. That's why I found this so. That's why I found this so funny that she had the nerve to say that. I was like, "Hold on, ma'am." I'm like, "You do realize country music was invented by, for real, for real. It, it's a lot of music that was invented by black people, bro. One of my favorite genres, bro, jazz. I love, love jazz. It's one of the reasons why I'm such a neo soul fan, cause if you for the guy, cause I know it was a brother over there who made said he made beats. If you know anything about music theory, jazz and neo soul, and in some cases even gospel, they tend to use the same um, chords, so to speak. But I ain't gonna get too deep in that, man, cause that ain't what we here for. Let me uh. 
Yeah, rock, I'm like rock and roll. With, yeah, black people had a hand in rock and roll. Period. I'm rock and roll too. Yeah, it does seem that way, don't it? Seem like most of the genres black people started. Then you look at country music now; it's dominated by white people, but black people invented it. Okay. I swear, bro. I know that's the shit that be pissing me off about some white people. It's like, bro, y'all want to be like y'all want to be like us so bad. I'm like, but the moment y'all see somebody even trying to emulate y'all a little bit, y'all over here, y'all get out. Y'all feel like y'all def- offended or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, right? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> phone call. I told y'all I was like they probably gonna end up calling while I was on here with y'all. That's why that's why I had to start this early. A little earlier than usual. It'll be the same thing tomorrow. I'll probably go live about eight o'clock, eight fifteen. All right, man. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I think I done got caught up and we already been on here like an hour. Let's get it. And we've been waking up with ants in our room as well. Uh, our neighbor, she ended up moving out, and the ants, we follow the intro from her room to our room. So that's another thing that we're dealing with. Another thing we're dealing with is the light is broken, the bed is broken. It's just a lot of things that's going on just in this living space. The people here are not pleasant people to be around. They're rude. They're, uh, it just, I don't know. They just are who they are, and I really can't say they just got like this because people don't just get like nothing. It's been like this. It's been like this. It's been like this. It's been like this. When you were coming up as a kid, one of the things your mother probably taught you was to never leave home without your money. Even American Express, the most famous credit card in America, has a saying, don't leave home without it. The American Express card, don't leave home without it. Especially for women. What does your mom teach you when you go out on a date with a man that you don't know? Never go empty handed just in case he can't pay the bill or you need to get to a ride home. You always have your money to take care of yourself. Now, for those of us, this is basic knowledge that we pass on to our own kids, our own relatives that are younger than us. But stop the show. There are people who don't care about this particular lesson. I have seen so many people fly all the way to Africa with less than a thousand dollars trying to live a new life and end up homeless. But that doesn't happen that often. But with this lady, Kia, it happened for her. She flew all the way to Thailand, less than $500 to her name. And she actually made a series of videos about it like this. This is how I survived in Thailand with only $7. After living in a small village for almost five months, not making any income, I was running out of money. I was down to my last $50. On January 22nd, I decided to take a risk spending my last $50 on a bus ticket from Chiang Mai to Bangkok, then from Bangkok to Pattaya. That left me with only $7 to my name. I didn't know what to do. I was worried, but I kept my faith and trusted that God would make a way. After making it to Pattaya, I met with a local expert. I told him my story and he decided to book me a hotel and things started to get better at this point every I had to pause it for you guys, bro, because I'm a little bit pissed off, bro. I'm uh, I'm just going to be. <sighs> because this, this shows a lot. You got help from a local expat. You basically had to drive bag your way into somebody paying you to have somewhere to stay. And from the looks of it, it wasn't another girl. It was a man. So much for we don't need no man. And if the shoe was on the other foot, 
Do you think uh, an American woman will help you out like that? It's it's just so funny how men are seen as evil so much, yet when I see shit like this, don't nobody talk about it. The better question is, why is it that Women are so quiet about this. Women talk down on passport bros so much. Y'all broke and dusty. Y'all only going over there into these other countries because the dollar is strong. Meanwhile, you got this stud who went there and ended up homeless. If the dollar is so much stronger in Thailand, explain to me how the hell she end up homeless. Oh, yeah, that's right, because she's the true Dusty. She's the true broke woman. She only had $500 when she left the States to go to Thailand. And now she's basically living off of everybody else helping her and because of this shit, you know, her YouTube channel done gained some traction, so it's probably monetized now. But we're going to get into what else she was doing um, there that got her in trouble. But that, got to be honest with you guys, man, that, that really pissed me the hell off, bro. I'm mad as hell. Somebody said she looked like Jadakiss. Somebody said she looked like Charlie Murphy. The Jadakiss, that's accurate as fuck. <laughs> J-A-D-A. Mr. G, rap with the dollar ninety nine. See what I says. Ayo, hey, wrong. Google Corey Maggetti. Oh, yeah. I know who Corey Maggetti is. Corey Maggetti is the um brother that used to be... He used to be married to Candace Parker. I think they had a kid or two together. But yeah, I remember Corey Maggetti. You know what? That's that that that's what my original thought was. I'm like, this is probably why you don't hear women talking down on her because because she's lesbian. And because she's lesbian and because she already got a girlfriend, they're like, oh, we'll give you a pass. But it's still, but it still makes the detractors argument flawed. Because if these other countries are so much cheaper, then she should not have any excuse to go all the way to Thailand and end up homeless. Because let me tell you guys, man, the cost of living in Thailand is very, very affordable. Like I was just mentioning earlier, bro, there's a brother, I think his name of his channel was Isaiah Ashley. I've reacted to his channel before. He just bought a a, a condo in Bangkok and he already has one in Pattaya I would say between both I would say between both apartments combined he's probably not spending more I I would actually he's actually spending about the same amount that I was spending on my because my one bedroom apartment in Cincinnati was uh 800 a month right between his apartment in pataya and bangkok he's spending about the same amount for two apartments and keep in mind these are apartments that have all the amenities you need gym swimming pool uh washer and dryer all, all that shit. the place that he's staying in in bangkok got a rooftop basketball court bro fuck is you talking about bro because everybody wonder why i love thailand so much that's why bro the cost of living 
amongst other things, obviously. But man, that cost of living and safety is like top tier, bro. Like, imagine being able to stay in an apartment for as cheap as two, three hundred dollars a month, but you got a pool, you got a gym, you got a sauna. Everything is within walking distance, like five, ten minute walks. Like, how do you beat that? Like, you mean to tell me I can get two apartments in Thailand for the that's cheaper for the price of one in America, and I got more access and more amenities? Thank you for that super chat, bro. Appreciate you, man. Go ahead, get that man his flowers, bro. Yeah, the name of the um, the name of the spot is called the the line. It's in Bangkok, bro. It has a rooftop basketball court. That shit looks so live, bro. Oh damn, that was Sheldon Williams. Okay. Oh okay. Damn. Man, I got them mixed up. Okay. Okay, I have to Google Corey Maggette. Oh man, I, I'm 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 afraid to Google him now. I'm like, what what happened to Corey Maggette, bro? <laughs> Rose with the 20 euro said we broke and dusty, right? That's what I'm saying, man. Thank you for that super chat, bro. Yo, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's crazy, man. But apparently, I get. But they, they, they ain't gonna call her out, I guess, because she's a lesbian and she already got a girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> y'all are weak. Says she looked like Corey Maggette. Okay, got you. Let's keep it moving. A news media outlet roasted her. World Star. I covered it. Everybody covered it. We thought it was quite silly for a grown lady to go all the way to a foreign country and couldn't take care of herself because she then became a burden on other people. But you know what? She started streaming on TikTok, started getting gifts, started making some money. And some people were nice to her and allowed her to even stay in their premises or even give her free food. But we'll come back to that in a minute. Rewind, Nemo! So experiencing Kia is also very unique. Experiencing Kia is also a lesbian. We could call her a stud. Now, when I first covered the story, her girlfriend, our fiance, was living in the States. But according to this clip, when she was trying to renew her visa, the girlfriend is now in Thailand. What's good, family? So today was the day that I needed to get my visa extended. So come with me while I get a simple visa extension. Yeah. So we had to wake up extremely early. The immigration office is always extremely busy. So it's like, you want to get there really early so you can get in line and you don't have to be there all day. Another thing, I don't think I ever told y'all that my fiance finally made it from America to Thailand. So when I say we, I mean me and her, her and I. So now the girlfriend is living in Thailand with her. Now, where they are staying is inside of a nail shop, and there's like another business on the second floor. And where they live on the third floor is where they're staying. Now, remember, there were some people in Thailand who actually were nice to her and gave her opportunities because she was homeless. But stop the show. Things happen, right? Now, as she's going to point out um, in this video, the owner was okay with her staying there, but the owner's sister and boyfriend did not like her at all. For whatever reason, they did not like them at all, all right? And then things started getting really out of hand. So a video came out yesterday that's going viral 
of this whole situation that broke down between you know her and the people that live there let's play the video and then we're going to come back what's good family so we just now coming back from doing a long day of work I'm proud of my fiance she finally got business up and running so it's a celebration um but yeah finished doing today's work today's task this is one of my favorite ladies y'all hello <laughs> And that's another one of the reasons why I love Thailand, man. I'm like, I'm like, everybody that if the people are so polite, especially the women, man, like they, you, that's that's just so common. I, I just had to point that out, man. I'm like, that lady is so sweet, she's so nice. I always don't eat noodles there, but um, we are headed back to the crib. I got to do some things on the phone. I got to call some people, take care of some business. Uh. But today, today was a actually a, a good day. It was actually a good day. Nothing happened. It was smooth sailing. Now I'm back at the shop. Wow. So this is what we come back to today. This is what we come back to today. Huh? Oh, it's okay. All right, yeah. You got the key, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys. So just to give y'all a little idea of what happened, right? So the story is is that these these women were late on they late on their rent or didn't pay their rent. Uh. They left, and when they came back, all of their stuff was sitting outside. Um, oh, man. Megatron with a $2 that says she looks like a dirty Krillin. Um. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Y'all off the chain, bro. Bro, I can't with y'all, man. <laughs> y'all be going in on the chat, bro. Oh, 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 my God. Yeah, so she was, yeah, she was working there and staying upstairs. All right. So, yeah, that's. Now, I know. Yeah, you know what? She do kind of look like Corey Maggetti, bro. Now that uh, I'm looking at <laughs> ah, I'm dead, bro. Y'all are hilarious. Jacoby McCovery with the dollar ninety. <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> Hey, she got a head like freezer, bro. I'm mad as hell, bro. I gotta say though, Freezer was probably one of the best villains. It's probably gonna go down as one of the best villains in uh, Dragon Ball Z. Damn. Speaking of which, uh, well, not. Because I mentioned them earlier, bro. Troy got issues, just sent me a friend request. I need to make this video for uh Shorty, bro. That Juliana chicken Costa Rica. I said, oh, y'all, Donatello Maggetti. Oh, I'm... <sighs> Let me continue this video, man. Y'all crazy, bro. All right. All right. Hey, open the door. 
There's luck. There's no luck. Okay, we just want, we just trying to make sure all of our things out of the room. Yeah, it's been a lot going on here. So, so right now we're just going upstairs to make sure all of our things are out of the room. So we just making sure we got all of our things out of the room, y'all. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hold on, wait a damn minute, man. Wait a minute. Who the f is that? Who is that, man? Man, hold on. Damn. I need to find out what salon that is when I get back. The shorty right here? Nah, that that that's not a he she, bro. No, I've been to Thailand enough times now to to recognize that's not a he she, bro. Oh yeah, right. Man, I got up, bro. Oh, I'm mad as hell. Says she looked like Dazine from Street Fighter. Yoga flame. In the neighborhood. Yeah, I, I can see how yeah. even like even the lesbian knew she was bad because you put the camera yeah. back on her. Okay. Damn. Just make sure everything is out. Yo, yeah, that, that's yeah, y'all yeah, saw I rewinded it. Make sure everything is out. All right, everything is going. Come on, listen to me. Wow. And just so y'all know, it's plenty. It's plenty of women that look like her in Thailand. She just kind of stood out because, Jesus Christ, yeah. Huh? Music. You stop? No, CC, just give me my phone, please. Who take the phone? No, he got, he got my girl phone. I see him put it in his pocket. Okay. 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 We had money in our purses. I need my phone. I need my phone. I see it. He got all phone. He got all phone. I just need my phone back, bro. Okay, check. I just need my phone check, back. Check, check, check. I just need my phone back. Yeah, yeah, check, check, check. Hey, you know what the fuck I'm saying? He got my girl phone. I know. Stop. 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 Get your shoes. This is the message I sent her the day before the attack. This is insane. This is where we're standing, y'all. This is where we're standing. And they decided to put the lock on the door. And when I tell y'all, y'all, when I tell y'all, it was by the grace of God for us to be home. You know why? Because if we wasn't, we was going to be locked out. We was going to be locked out, even though I'm paying rent at this place. And these people are not tied. The owner, she's tied, but her husband, her boyfriend, who's causing all these problems, he is not Thai. He is somebody that wants to be in control of me and of my girl. He doing anything and everything in his power to try to bring us down. Now, this is where I got to call Cap because if he's not Thai, he probably looked at you as a leech. I'd be willing to bet that's why he, 
you know, he was protecting, he was more than likely trying to protect his girlfriend's business. He was probably looking out for her. Just, just, just being an enforcer, just being an enforcer, just being a protector. Because he's probably looking at you like, why is an American why why does an American need to get a job here and stay here? That I'm I, I'd be willing to bet that's why he did what he did. That's why he handled y'all the way he handled y'all. I'd be willing to bet that's why. Cause he was probably looking at them like why like why the like why why are they struggling? Why are y'all here? Yeah, yeah. How convenient, Sherwin. How convenient. I'm sorry. Somebody I think that was Dino said she looked like Drax the Destroyer. Um <laughs> Right. That's all that was, bro. He was not going to let you get over on his girl, bro. Talking about some, he wants to control. I'm like, see, and here, and see, here we go. See, this, that Western ass mindset. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you come off so ungrateful. You ain't even supposed to be working there, bro. Over here, dry bagging, got everybody else trying to help you out. The only reason why you good now is because you went viral and gained some traction and some sympathy. I'm like, so now yo YouTube monetized, so you probably making a few dollars, probably getting a few donations and shit. Yeah, we gonna get to that, man. Let's keep it moving. Or we're just going to keep on praying and keep on using the word of God against him and just keep on letting God fight our battles. But I, I really don't know, y'all. Once we returned downstairs, after checking to make sure we had all of our things, the owner boyfriend approached me with the intention to break my camera. This is another conversation I had with the owner trying to understand what I did to make him so mad. This was her response. We decided to go to the police and make a report of the assault. Things that, like if you lived on her, honest to God, if you lived in like, it's really hard to explain. It's the loudest person who wins. The, the, the loudest person who wins. The, 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 the guy who punches. Our energy is strong, but it's not. It's not actually strong. I would, I would say it's more like a self-defense kind of mechanism. Strong as shit. We were assaulted by six individuals. I was kicked in my head multiple times, and my hey, fiance so was hit with a chair. And we ending up so with a fine of one hundred twenty thousand for damage to property. Because he'll he'll be waiting for you at one. He's probably going to call you if you don't come by one. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like an official time, okay? okay? So try to get it all set up before one o'clock. Now, if you watch the whole video toward the end, what you're going to see, she was charged one hundred twenty thousand baht for damages. That's interesting because. Y'all, that's about let me do the math real quick. I want to say uh, that's like oh that's like over three thousand, y'all. That's like over three thousand dollars, three thousand US dollars, y'all. Mm -mm. We didn't see her do any damage to the shop, but stop the show. That's why you got good old Facebook, and of course. We're not going to be able to play the video, but I saw the video where she went through breaking all kind of glass. Now, of course, we can't show you exactly how she did it, but we can go ahead and try to give you the walkthrough of what happened after she did it. Let's play that clip. Okay, 
Oh, yeah. That's experiencing Kia breaking hella stuff as she took all her things and left out of that place and then left the country. Okay. Man, who is that woman with the striped shirt and them little ass shorts? Damn, bring that ass here. All right, let's keep it moving, man. I, I got distracted. Now, let me go ahead and read this particular post from a lady who lives in Thailand. She's a black lady married to an older uh, German man. Here's yeah, B yeah, bro. I peeped that too. I don't know why BM was freeze. I don't know why BMT was trying to get a bit of her out of doubt so much. I'm like, bro, she. A, I'm like, bro, she lesbo. Why are you going so hard for her, man? I'm like, yeah. Everybody was picking on him about that. But shout out to BMT, man. I'm like, he. he we, we we all good. This is what she says. Look, people, don't be coming to Thailand with all that BS. These Thai people gave her a place to live and a job because she was homeless in Thailand, but she refused to pay rent for the room. So they asked her to leave and put her stuff outside. So she comes back and starts tearing the place up. This disrespectful behavior I don't condone in any country, but especially here, I'm disgusted and embarrassed, shaking my head. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, as a black person, period, regardless of gender, I'm embarrassed. Because what she has done is, if there was ever to be a chance, if another black person was in the same situation as her, bro, more than likely, and, and as friendly, as kind as Thai people are, they're probably not going to help you. Bro, they took you in and gave you a job. That's they could have got in trouble for that. And this is what you do. Now, the rumor is, or what she's trying to push is that her girlfriend was getting beat down by six people and was in the shop and she couldn't get in. She couldn't open the door, so that's why the glass was shattered. But I think that's cap. Because if you saw the picture, she was using her skateboard to try to damage other stuff in the shop as well. And she also damaged one of the people that worked there. One of they, I don't know if it was the owner or the um, boyfriend, damaged the back of their window. So, man, she ain't being 100 about this situation, bro. Let's keep it moving. Now, those of you, uh, shout out to the brother who sent this clip to me. Now, she's saying different things. The young lady is saying that she was paying rent and they just locked her out for no reason. This African-American lady who has a German man is saying that she was not paying rent. So she's an insider to the to the complete story. Here's what I am going to say. That 120,000 Thai bot that she was fine is the equivalent of three thousand three hundred and six dollars. Bro, that's how y'all know I've been in Thailand too much. Didn't I? I when I didn't I tell y'all that's a little over three thousand. That, that's how y'all know I've been living in Thailand too much. <laughs> right. And again, I saw the video of what she was doing. Like, um, she had a weapon. She was definitely hitting things, breaking things inside of the shop. I don't know what escalated that part. I can't see that. But the reality is this. She went to a country with no money, all right? You're there in the country with no money. Also, I don't know what people feel about same-sex relationships in Thailand. I think it's possible there or it's something that may happen there. I'm not sure what's going on. But it seems like she was being somewhat of a burden. And if she had a lot of money, she wouldn't have to go through anything that she was going through. Now, she did accuse uh, the guy of taking her phone. Uh, she did accuse the guy of taking her um, um, her girlfriend's phone. Some of the items may have been missing. They were being locked out and things like that. I just want to say that I've experienced really silly things like happening overseas, especially in Uganda. And yeah, things like crazy things like that can happen. But you always got to remember, stop the show. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on this channel when your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson comes on, right? Things can happen in countries like that. Um, it O'Shea, I know that ain't you over here trying to crip while he goofy as hell, bro. Sit your ass down. Just something that occurs, and you are always going to be looked at as if you're in the wrong.
that's how they're going to see it. It's how they view it. It's how it is. And as an American, you're not going to have any leeway over it. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead go ahead and shut that down. But, yeah, you guys, that's that's pretty much the gist of that. Um, she did get deported. Uh, she's actually – she's not even back in the States yet. Last – because she popped up on my feed uh, and uh, – something about making a stop somewhere i'm like god i pray to god she's not here but um yeah bro yeah ladies <laughs> y'all look like hypocrites man this woman literally ended up homeless in thailand y'all were so quiet about it and i get it because she doesn't have a dog in the fight She's lesbian, and 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 she's a girl. However, you can't call you can't call the men that go over here broke and dusty because the men that y'all are referring to that are passport bros, I haven't seen any of these guys go over to any of these countries and struggle or end up homeless or having to move in with other Thai people. Yeah, yeah, Frank Tate, because it's going on 10 here, man. Uh, I need to go ahead and get to it. But, oh, she's in the Philippines. Okay. Ooh, Cebu, that's even worse. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, man, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and get to it, bro. Uh, 87 watching. Please hit that like button. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, Jacoby, if you got anything, Jacoby, if you got anything you want me to react to, do a live stream reaction or anybody, um, let me know. Send it to my email. Uh, and I'll be happy to react to it. Otherwise, when I come on a live show tomorrow, for real, for real, I'll probably just chop it up, man, for real, for real. Before I go, Craig with $3 Super Chat says, now she has a spot funds page set up asking for 4K. Oh, my God. Now, y'all remember how Jay Rello was getting clowned when he got stuck. And the only reason why he got stuck was because he missed his flight. Well, I think it was more to it than that. But this chick literally went to Thailand with a little bit of nothing. No kind of plan on how to get make money and anything. And like, and y'all women are silent. Man, tell me, tell me you bias without telling me you bias. Oh my goodness, man! Thank you for that super chat, brother. Also, before I go, I want to give a shout out to Sherwin Kerr with the ten dollar cash app. Thank you so much, brother. Said, I'm mad the police didn't give her a year in jail. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, on top of that, he's not a passport, bro, and I agree. But you know, we're supposed to be the broken, dusty ones. All right, whatever. Uh, see, Rose, the uh, 20 euros, you are officially the sponsor of the show. I want to thank everybody again that uh, sent the cash app or sent the super chat. Your support is much appreciated. Appreciate the love, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So, until next time. Peace. And y'all know how we ride out.
Yeah. <laughs> 